A centerboard or centerboard is a retractable keel which pivots out of a slot in the hull of a sailboat. Known as a centerboard trunk or centerboard case, the retractability allows the centerboard to be raised to operate in shallow waters, to move the center of lateral resistance, to reduce drag when the full area of the centerboard is not needed, or when removing the boat from the water, as when trailering. A centerboard which consists of just a pivoting metal plate is called a center plate. A daggerboard is similar, but slides vertically rather than pivoting. The analog in a scow is a bilge board. These are fitted in pairs and used one at a time. LT. John Shank was an officer of the British Royal Navy and is credited with the invention of the centerboard. Shank, however, gave credit for the idea to British Brigadier General Earl Percy. Function. A centerboard is used to provide lift to counter the lateral force from the sails. This is required for sailboats to move in directions other than downwind. Since the force of the sail is never closer than 45 degrees to the apparent wind, since most sailboats are symmetric along their axis of motion, when sailing upright, the lateral force can come from either side, which means that centerboards must use symmetric foil shapes so they will operate with equal efficiency on either tack. The more a yacht heals the more asymmetric its hull shape becomes. The centerboard, daggerboard or bilgeboard can be used as a recovery platform upon which to stand, providing increased leverage, in the event the dinghy overturns via a capsize or turtle. Design The efficiency of a centerboard improves with increasing aspect ratio. A long narrow centerboard produces less drag than a short, wide one for a given amount of lift resulting in a faster boat that can point closer into the wind. A fore-and-aft pivoting centerboard can also be used to move the center of lateral resistance after to match a change in sail plan, such as furling or dropping the jib. A retracting centerboard is more complex than a fixed keel, and most take up space inside the hull of the boat that could otherwise be used for passenger accommodation. Other types feature a casing under the boat, which does not take up space but instead has the problem of increased drag. For this reason, it is not uncommon to find boats with a combination of shallow keel and centerboard. The keel provides the housing for the centerboard, moving it out of the hull, but adds only a small amount of draft to the boat. The centerboard can then be lowered in deeper waters to increase the amount of lift. Ballast is usually provided in the keel, keeping the centerboard lighter and easier to handle. Centerboards are often ballasted in keelboats. Ballasted centerboards are generally not locked in place when lowered. The mass of the ballast keeps them down. This also provides a measure of safety should the boat run aground. The force of impact will push the foil back into the centerboard trunk, rather than breaking it, as might happen if the board were locked in place. The mass of a ballasted foil means that a system of pulleys may be required to allow the sailor to lift the foil, and a method of latching the board in the upward position is needed. A centerboard differs from a ballast keel in that centerboards do not contribute to the stability of the vessel, their purpose is to provide lateral resistance. In small sailing dinghies it is rare to find a ballasted centerboard. On larger sailing vessels, a similar design is sometimes incorporated to enable navigation into shallower water than a fixed keel would allow. In these situations the appendage is generally referred to as a lifting keel or a swing keel. In such installations on offshore vessels, the keel should ideally be lockable in any position, so that it does not fall back into the keel well if the vessel is inverted. When the craft is moving, the centerboard acts as a lifting foil.